number 10 is Wally West, aka Kid Flash. So when Wally got his powers in the Flashpoint timeline due to Savitar's manipulation, as it was later revealed, he was not able to actually hold up against the rival. He was actually killed by that version of the rival, mainly due to him being cocky, but also he wasn't as fast as the rival. He couldn't actually catch up to him at a lot of points, and he needed Barry's help. So gaining his powers once again in the post-Flashpoint timeline via Savitar, Wally showed signs of development that was actually faster than Barry when he originally got his powers in Season 1. So, you know, when he was trained by Thorn and he was developing his speedster powers and got to see him go faster and faster and faster. And so with this, Wally showed signs of potentially getting even faster than Barry in the end. But beyond that early sign, he got fast, but never gained so much speed as to nearly be as fast as Barry. And this is mainly due to his little time on screen, I do believe, and so little was furthered in terms of his speed with his early signs of progress being ridiculously good compared to Barry's, but he never sort of sped up or got really any faster. He didn't really have any training, that was the problem. He had a little bit of training here and there from Barry, and then he went to Legends, no one there is a speedster, so they can train him, and now we don't even know where he is, so it seems like he's pretty stagnant at the moment in terms of his speed. Okay, so let's move on, so this is number 9, number 9 is Godspeed, so Godspeed was only one episode and was portrayed as a similar speed to Nora, yet not as skilled as Nora, because Nora was trained by Eobard Thorn. This version of Godspeed is nowhere near as fast or as powerful as the comic book counterpart because in the comics he was able to be in two places at once. This Godspeed could barely actually fight Nora so with his defeat it seemed to portray that he was marginally slower than Nora and he got his power from a version of Velocity 9 therefore he is not a natural speedster and got his powers the same way as Trajectory. It seems that, in terms of the Flash TV show, the natural speedsters are inherently able to get faster and faster, whilst Velocity 9, or whatever version of Velocity it is, has its absolute limits, and that was seen with the death of Trajectory, because they can't progress past a certain speed, whereas natural born speedsters, you know, speedsters who actually got their powers naturally, are able to progress much beyond those who artificially given them. Okay, so number 8. Number 8 we have Jessie Quick. So she got her powers in season 2, this was after Barry gave himself his powers again once he lost his powers given them back to Zoom. So she was hit by Dark Matter, she was given her speed eventually and she is faster than Wally as evidenced by her beating him in a race and she is now the speedster of another earth but whilst here she was able to hold up against Avatar for a while for the most part yet she couldn't keep up with Barry so from this I placed her around 8 because I do believe she's faster than Godspeed because she got her powers naturally and Godspeed really wasn't around for that long so I do believe that Jessie's actually faster. Jessie got some training as well, and she's been trained by Barry and Jay Garrick, so she's had some pretty good training. So I put her at number eight. And number seven, we have XS, aka Nora West Allen. So Nora was able to beat Godspeed, yet had only been using her powers in the last year or two. That must be noted. So meaning her full potential was never met because she got erased and she'd only been using her speedster powers for about a year or so. So she was taught by Thorn like Barry and therefore her speed and her power levels and the way she used her speed was very smart and obviously very powerful and had the potential to scale up to the very highest ranks in terms of speedsters as being the daughter of Barry, one of the fastest speedsters out there and also being trained by Thorn, just like Barry was trained, you could therefore suggest she could be as fast as Barry, or if not faster eventually, but she was cut off due to her actually getting erased. So that is why she is at number 7, so she was not as fast as Barry, but a similar speed to Godspeed and Jesse Quick from what we saw. Okay, so number 6, Jay Garrick, aka Earth 3 Flash, the man in the Iron Mask. So, originally captured by Hunter Zolomon back in Season 2, Jay was the man in the Iron Mask. 
He was revealed to be the doppelganger of Henry Allen, who later went on to mentor Barry from time to time, as we saw him pop up every now and again. He certainly isn't as fast as Barry, as facing Savitar he was beaten to an absolute pulp, but he is definitely faster than Jesse as he mentored her, and also he's definitely faster than Wally, placing him in about the mid-range of the speedsters on the show. He is slower than Zoom because he got captured, Zoom was able to capture him. He is able to catch up to Barry when trying to time travel, so he can do that at points. He shows signs of very fast pace, yet it seems like he can't keep up that pace like, say, Barry for a very long time. He can do it in bursts, basically. Okay, so number five, we have Zoom. So going into the top five, we're pretty much like very similar in terms of speed, and this is just all kind of what you see, but I will present my arguments as to why I think maybe some of the higher ones are higher than maybe the ones you presume would be number one, say. So Zoom is a serial killer who was given Speed Force powers by the Star Labs Particle Accelerator Explosion on Earth 2 by Harry, and he used his speed to become Zoom as he artificially increased his speed until he was able to break the dimensional barrier. That was a big thing in Season 2. So he stole Barry's speed at a point and even paralyzed him when showing up for the first time, breaking Barry's back, dragging him across the city. At a point I truly wondered, was he human? And a lot of you were suggesting that. I remember back at the time, although I didn't make videos back then, I remember watching like Paige's videos and watching Emergency Awesome's videos and everyone was like, is this guy human? And I was like that myself. I was like, holy shit, this guy could be the fastest speedster. So he only mainly falls lower on this list due to the fact that he didn't get his powers naturally and he used Velocity 9 to enhance his powers and due to the fact that he didn't get his powers naturally, you would assume there is definitely a limit and I think that is why he is number 5. He isn't as fast as my number 4 pick which is Reverse Flash. So Reverse Flash, he can flip flop. Honestly, at some days maybe he's number one, some days he's number two, number three, but today I'm putting him at number four. He couldn't outrun the Black Flash, that is a major factor in why potentially he's in number four, and he has been defeated by Barry many times, so there is obviously a case to be made for him actually being as fast because he's able to beat Barry at points. So Reverse Flash is obviously not as powerful as, say, Savitar or Black Flash in terms of sheer power, but in terms of speed, Reverse Flash and Barry are pretty much very similar to Savitar and Black Flash. He can keep up, but the speed is not off the charts all the time in terms of Reverse Flash, but obviously, if we're ranking most powerful Flash speed villains, he would probably be number one due to his mind and how he can manipulate things and actually you know, stay alive unlike, say, Savitar, Black Flash, or even Zoom. They've all been erased or died at a certain point, and Reverse Flash is able to outrun that for the most part. So, moving on, number three, Savitar. This might be the one where a lot of you guys are like, but he's the god of speed. Well, let me explain this. So, he was able to go between the Speed Force and the real world early in the season, at any time he chose. He was able to beat everyone, including Barry. He was known as the God of Speed. However, when not stuck in the Speed Force, when he got out, his speed significantly dropped and was basically matched to Barry. So if he stayed in the Speed Force the whole time, he would definitely be number one. Like at certain points, Savitar was definitely faster than all the speedsters we've seen on the show. He was incredibly fast. Barry got beaten the shit out of. However, when he got out, not so much. He seemed to be very much in line with Barry. Okay, so number two, we have Black Flash. So not even Thorn or Barry could outrun the Black Flash. Thorn spent a whole season on Legends trying to escape him. He is a part of the Speed Force. He works for the Speed Force. Therefore, he's incredibly fast. He had to catch speedsters, meaning he had to be able to catch them up. And he would be higher on the list, but he is known as the fastest speedster. So we'll keep it that way in terms of Barry being number one. So number one we have The Flash, the fastest man alive as he's been dubbed. Eobard Thorne said that the speed of Barry is potentially unlimited and so with that he's number one. 
He reached Mark 13.2 from Tachyons as we saw him run over to Supergirl's Earth by accident. Coming out of the Speed Force in the comics, he was the lightning bolt that gave himself powers and he spent six months in the Speed Force and he came out incredibly powerful. So he showed signs of being the definite, definitive fastest man alive and at points he's definitely been that fast and due to Thorn saying that he has the potential to be absolutely as fast as anything as showed by him using the tachyons he's definitely number one although not always number one like I said it kind of flip-flopped between all the different seasons with Savitar, Reverse Flash, Zoom, Black Flash but he is the fastest man alive when you boil it down to the basics. 